Um, Margaret Spellings was the Secretary of Education under George W. Bush in the second, second term. She called for something that's called a student level data database um, that instead of looking at already aggregated statistics about schools and about programs, that the Department of Education would actually be able to look at individuals and see whether they're graduating on time, uh, what, you know, after they graduate, whether they get a job, or whether they're able to repay their loans. I think it was a mistake. I, I recognize that some colleges may be uh, antsy about finding out how they did. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, you take your final exam and you're worried before you get that grade back, but it's important to get that grade back. It's important to get that feedback, not only for the consumer, not only for a student, but so that the college can, can find out how they're doing and maybe learn ways of uh, helping students better. If you ask the right questions, you get the right answers, but it's really hard to know what the right question is to get the information you need. At some point, if we could keep data absolutely honest, we'd be able to answer the question for ourselves, or at least in the best way we know how, or at least know what question to finally ask, when that's what students don't have. Uh, I'm a first-generation student, so uh, my family didn't go to, my parents didn't go to college, so I really had to rely upon my, what my counselors uh, told me, and the scholar program I was in, so I, I really took a risk and picked Pittsburgh College. It was the only college I applied to, um, and it all worked out, but I, I feel like I could have had a lot more information. An informed consumer is a good consumer, and education is something that's a huge choice, especially higher ed. This is something that not only determines four years of our life, but has downstream effects throughout our whole life, so making an informed choice is very important here. So, as a first-generation student who's on the military GI Bill, I really factor in not only cost, but what am I going to get out of it afterward? What change can I make, not only in my life, but that will continue onward? I want to see what I can give back to my community. It's a holistic approach that every detail matters, but definitely where I'm going because of college matters most. What I can get out of it for the cost I'm paying in. And so, especially when you're in college, the idea of having a um, I don't know, a, a certain expectation of where you're going to be five down, five years down the road feels elusive, but I feel like looking at different alumni, that's the best projector of yeah. where you think you might be able to be, and so it's hard to kind of look at metrics and say, like, this number is what I'm going to be in five years, but for me at least the most helpful um, tool to track my own trajectory is to look at what other people have done and hope that I can do that as well.